I've gotten a lot of comments on my last couple of videos about human knees. People asking how come our knees are backwards compared to things like horses, cheetahs, dogs, and birds. And I have good news for everybody. Your knees aren't backwards, but neither are theirs. And that's because those bends in their legs that you see aren't knees. To explain, I need to talk about the three different ways that animals walk. Some animals, like humans, are what's called plantigrade. We walk on our entire foot. Other animals, like dogs and cats and birds, are what's called digitigrade, where they walk on their digits or their toes. And some animals are what's called unguligrade, meaning they walk only on their nails, but not just any nails, evolved nails that we call hooves. Let's take a look at some anatomy and I'll show you what I mean. First off, here's a paper about human walking by Cunningham, Schilling, Anders, and Carrier, which talks about why humans are plantigrade instead of digitigrade. This is a visualization for what humans would look like if we walked on our toes instead of on our whole feet. The thing that I want to call attention to is this one here, the fifth one in the sequence of walking on toes. Remember this shape, we've got toes on the ground, the foot up, the heel pointing backwards, and then the rest of the leg going forward. Now with that in mind, with that in mind, take a look again at this dog. You see the toes on the ground, the foot going up, and suddenly what you might think of as a knee becomes apparent that this is actually the heel, and the knee of the dog is right here, going the same way that our knees do. We can do the same thing again with the horse. Got the foot ending with the ankle here, and this curve being the knee. Here's a color-coded version from Wikipedia. You can see the analogous structures here are color-coded. So you have the plantigrade humans on our whole foot, the jitigrade with the dog, the midfoot and hind foot are raised, and unguligrade where we see that the hoof is just one big modified toenail, and the toes are up, Midfoot's up, heel is up, and the knees are all here, facing the same direction. Now you might be thinking, what about birds? Because as opposed to dogs, cheetahs, or horses, on a bird you can't see any kind of bend in the same direction as our knee. Well, this is a diagram from a website called skeletaldrawing.com, and it shows the comparison of a bird, a human, and a dog. Admittedly, the bird is extinct, but modern birds also look the same way. It has all of the related structures color-coded as well. And you can see that the knee, the intersection between this red and blue bone, is hidden within the body of the bird. That's why it's easy on a picture like this to not realize that these are not the knees. They are in fact the back of the foot. But again, in the bird, as in the dog, as in the humans, the direction of the knee is the same. And funnily enough, even though we're plantigrade when we walk, we tend to be more digitigrade when we run. This basically looks like a human who's on running blocks and about to start running. But that's a video for another time. Anyway, I hope that clears up the misconception about our knees. There are lots of problems with <laughs> human knees, mostly related to bipedalism. But one of the problems we do not have is they're not backwards. If you've got any questions or any other video ideas you'd like to see, definitely let me know in the comments. I read all of them even if I don't have time to respond to every one of them. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.